Okay. Starting some kufta design. Go through three points. If Aleph, yeah, the Torah writes opens up by saying an Isha Elam to Masa, Acha Tidbel Karoi, Bemokemaroi, Vachri Mesfiloso. Woman becomes tired when she tables the right, the proper way, which obviously means going all whatever is relevant to Tevila, which is no chitzis. Mokemaro in the right place, which means in the kosher of mikveh. Ba'achle yemei sefirah, so after the shavu nekim, and not before. When you look in the mechaber, the mechaber obviously specifies in hanida v'azova v'ayeledes, he specifies three, it doesn't just say ein ha'isha, but obviously he's not limiting it to these three. He could also count uh, kesem, which is not really a nida. It could count, it also includes a uh, dam psulim, which is also not a nida. Um, someone who becomes psichas hakever if there's no dam, if there's a suffix, all these things are also included. You know, the Mechaber just mentioned these three, it's also it's all included. Any time a woman has to become tahir from the tumma, which we today consider all in the category of Nidr, she has to do these three. She has to do uh, to, uh, to go to the room. That's Noch Tzitzis in a mikveh and after Shiva Nakim. Then the, that's the introduction. That's essentially what introduces all the halachas that are coming to follow. And that's what's going to be the simonim that we're going to see in Shulchan Aruch that Kufzalik Zayin and on covers the Achar Yimei Svirasa, the Shivan Akim, the halachas when she goes to mikveh, Tidwal Karoi, the Dinim of Chtitze, and then Mokem Aroi, which is the last, uh, which is the simon of Vilchas Mikveh. So all are Hemshech to this. The Mechaber writes, even after a woman is at Nida for, for, for a few years, or whatever reason she's telling me, she's not Nida for a while, she still, she still, um, she still remains Tomei, and for a husband to be with her, she has to become, she has to go to Mikveh. What does that include? Whether she's a Skena, she's a Mesulekes Domim, she's a Muberes, her husband was, was out of town for a long time, whatever it is, if you like a shanim, she is fine. I just want to point out, I posted it on the chat yesterday. The Rebbe mentioned it in the Sikha, and then it was sent to Shluchim by letters also, to encourage women, even old women, who are no longer seeing periods, if they did not makna and tasa mishpach, they should go to mikveh at least once, and at least the husband should be able to be with them, but tahare, until... Uh, until uh, until 120. Just because she's not longer, she's no longer seeing uh, blood now, doesn't mean she's still a medas betumasa. The chayera, the same thing would apply also to a woman who's a mubaris. Yeah, if a woman, if there's a person in your chabad house which becomes, uh, which is starting to become frum, and she became a mubaris without going to mikveh first, now she is a sur of the Obviously, she send her to mikveh. She will become a mikveh. She should be able to be with her husband betahara, and we don't have the chashash of laws that we saw in the previous simon, because over here it's not it's not laws. It's very clear that she didn't go to mikveh. So you're not being mighty laws on the kid. It's it's, uh, it's a klari union. It's not a problem. But, uh, at least you'll save them from that. Obviously, all of these you need shivin akim. Just uh, you should know that. Another example where you have that. Uh, that uh, is, is, co- is not common, but it comes up as a shayla. If a woman does, um, she has to, she has yenamachla or whatever reason, they have to cut out her uterus. So she's no longer going to have any more periods. Complete hysterectomy, not partial, complete. They take out the whole uterus. She's no longer going to be nida. She also does shiva nakim and goes to mikvah and she's tahira. Until uh, until 120, but again the same idea. This is even though it's not ah. Uh, she's not with her husband more than five days before the surgery. The old lady, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The old five days you always need, yeah. Five days you always need, and when the, by the surgery, I'm saying practically it's not the uh, love <laughs> is going to be this five day issue. She's going to be bleeding 
more than five days after the surgery until everything, uh, not bleeding seriously, but still be blunt. Some of the Sulakis government had a procedure that would take Shikha Sahara after the death of the Mishnah, or do you say that the question is Sulakis government? If she has Sikha Sahara, she's old. She's old? No, old, I don't know, but a Mubaris. It's the first uh, she becomes stomach, Psychos Akeva. Right. When she starts so giving birth. Old people, even if they're, they're after menopause, I don't know. they have to go to the bed again, she has to be I never thought about it. Okay, Siv Beis. We come to an interesting machlekes. If Tvila Bismana, a mitzvah or not a mitzvah. The tour brings it to the machlekes, Rabbi Nachanan, Rabbi Nutam. Um, that uh, Rabbi Nachman Paskin's Tvila Bismana is a mitzvah. Is a mitzvah. Rabbi Nachman Paskin's Tvila Bismana is not a mitzvah. The Bach I will clarify right away. According to Rabbi Nachman, Tvila Bismana is a mitzvah. It means even if Baila ain't a if the husband is not in town. And according to Rabbi Nachman, which is not a mitzvah, that's why if she's not allowed a toivel on Lil Shabbos if her husband is not in town. But if her husband is in town, she's allowed to toivel on Shabbos. Why? Even though it's not a mitzvah, because the mitzvah is say of pity of Arivia, it's the first thing. So the mitzvah is a say, mitzvah of Oina. And therefore, because you have these mitzvahs, Trilo Bismano, um, even if her husband is in town, she could toivel on Friday nights. Um, now, you're going to ask, what happens if a person, they say, it's not Mitzvah Sayyidina, it's not Mitzvah Pity Verivia, just want to point out that even when, after Pity Verivia, a person was Mekai and Pity Verivia, there's still a Mitzvah of L'Erev Al Tanakh, which we I brought and mentioned it in the past and uh, over here, I don't know if it was ever on camera, you have a Mashmos, the Sichas, Chelek Lamed, that the Rebbe looks at it as a close to the Raisa, and you have to mention from the Tzemach Tzedek, where he discusses regarding Chen uh, Rebbe Nagarshim, that you have a, a uh, it's also a mitzvah so much so, even if a person is becoming pretty vidivia, for the union of the Rebbe Valtanach, he still will be able to marry a second wife. So, even if there's no pretty vidivia, if it's Lel Tvila, and the little tefillah falls on Friday night, she goes to mikveh, and she, uh, but if the, husband, if the husband's in town. Now, if a woman intentionally pushes off mikveh for the purpose of bothering her husband, getting and causing him aggravation, when they get to later, if she could table on Shabbos or not, but just to point out, that is asr. The zayhar brings, it brings, it causes a lot of uh, problems. Definitely not a recommended thing to do. Um, although we might get short-term benefit by getting under the skin of the husband, but it's not a recommended idea. If she was, now Bach continues. Now the reason I'm bringing the Bach, the Bach is crucial to understand what we're going to discuss later. If she was had an oinus, she was supposed to table Thursday night because then so she had an oinus, she was not able to table on Thursday night. Right? The ogre says, "Kevin de itchi itchi." It's over, you lost your chance, terrible after Shabbos. However, the Bach, uh, and the Bach himself, Paskins like them, and disagrees with the Ramon. The Bishayseh brings the Agur, brings that the Maril also Paskins like the Agur, and uh, if you look in the Taz and the Shach, you'll see that uh, they say that the Bishayseh did not understand the Maril, and the Maril does not Paskins like the Taz and the like, like the, like the Agur. However, the Bishayseh Paskins that it's not so, and um, if she was Nansa on Thursday night and she wasn't able to toivel, she could toivel Friday night. Now we move to the Mechaber. The Mechaber says, as he says in Sif Beis, the same says, if her husband is in town, it's a mitzvah to toivel. Why? Shaloi not to, not to cancel Pirya Verivia. And this is, the Taz right away points out to you, this is even according to us that we hold that Tvila Bismana is not a mitzvah. Now, what happens if her husband is not in town? Is it a mitzvah? Is it a reshus? Or you shouldn't do it at all? So the shus Yaakov brings, it's based on the Tzavos Abid HaChosid, that it's a sechashash sakana, and therefore she should sleep with a knife under her pillow and with a baby in her bed. 
Kafachai mentions also to sleep with a piece of clothing from the husband. You look in Taro Ka'alacha, he only mentions two out of three. He does not mention sleeping, having a baby in your bed. And he tells you in the footnote that the reason is because it's a danger for the baby. So therefore, you're good enough with the other two, especially being a practical rabbi, that you, uh, when you're asked, it's the, wearing the clothing of the husband and a knife under the pillow. The Kina Seifer of Shleim Kluger in the Shmotis 2, Shiori Tahara, says that if it's only one night delayed, there's no chashash um, of sakana. The Marasham disagrees with him, says the Svara Sakeres is a boich zvara without any yisoid, and you cannot be makel, you cannot make a differentiation between one night and other nights. The sakana is a sakana, and you stay away from that. That is what the Marasham says. Okay, that's regarding tabling now. All or all I'm telling you right now is all introduction because we're going to get to see the still in Al Tarev, and that's the main thing I want to speak about in this year. Hopefully, I'll be able to get to there. The Ramo in Siv Base says she's allowed to table on Friday night if she was not able to table before. Now, obviously, just to point, it's important to point out that. We tell a woman she's tabling Friday night, she's obviously tabling in a hot mikvah like the Alter Rebbe was misaken. You have to be careful with schitte and careful with the other things that are relevant on Shabbos, but mitzad at tevila, tables Friday night, if she's, she has to, she could, she wasn't able to table before. But if she was able to table before and she didn't, also the table on, on Friday, on Friday night. That is what uh, what it says over there. Now, what happens if after she goes to mikveh she still will not be able to be with her husband? Because her husband is in town, but she's an ex- example of a case when she's not able to be with her husband. For example, her oyna beinenis falls out on that night because maybe she got tummy in the middle of something else, and her oyna beinenis falls out on that on leil tevila. And noyik to be machmir. The Evan Shoyham says she's allowed to toivel even on Friday night. Why? Because even in the Benin is Sha'ar Kirva is mutter, and only Tashmish is also, and Sha'ar Kirva is also part of the mitzvah vayna, and therefore she's allowed to go to mikveh. However, most people disagree with him. The Talas Yisrael is very sharp that she should not go to mikveh. Why? Because he's not going to control himself. He's going to go into a problem of Yisur. And before that, some people said, even Chibuk Venishuk is Asur, when you can't be Meshamish, because Zerl Vatolo. And because of the Shail of Sakana. Because the way you understand, you can understand it's about a good Achasid, the Sakana is, even if the husband is in town, if she toivels and she does not is not with her husband that night, not only if she toivels and he's not in town, but if she toivels and he's not with her husband. So therefore, when even when she's not able to, she's not able to be with her husband, there is a machlekes, and again, you should just know this to deal with it if such a shaila, when such a shaila will, will come up. Now, if now, obviously, if she, if uh, on Thursday night she was not able, if if the tevila, if, let's say we're going to follow the Tana, the majority of poskim, that if she's if it's fine, abenis the marshal falls out on that night, um, or and then she's not able to be with her husband. Or if there's an Avelis over there, and they're not allowed to be together, and therefore she's not going to go to Mikvah that night, but that was Thursday night. And then by Friday morning, it, it's over. Well, either the Oyna Benanis is going to be done by Friday afternoon, or Avelis to get up from Avelis Friday, then obviously that Friday night she could go to Mikvah, because that is her first chance that she's allowed to go to Mikvah. You can't hold it from both ends and tell her. You could have gone to mikvah last night because your husband was in town, but we told you not to go to mikvah Thursday night because of it. it was also for you to be with your husband for a side reason. But now comes Friday night, if I'm not going to tell you again, you're not allowed to go to mikvah. No, if, if you take the approach that, the, that you asked her to go to mikvah Thursday night because you're not with her husband, 
and by Friday night she will be able to be with her husband, then she, for her, she's allowed to go to mikveh on Friday night. Now, what's the issue with going to mikveh on Friday night? The main yesod we'll see later is because it looks like mesakin. You're tame, you became tohid. You switched to mesakin. Mesakin something on Shabbos is is Osir. Now, if she, uh, we said before that Amos said if she was able, if, uh, if, she, if she was not able to table before, then she's allowed to table Friday night. If she was, if she was able to table before, it's Osir. What does it mean that she was not able to table before? We mentioned different examples. If it's Oynes, one of the reasons, one of the examples is uh, if it's Oynes, she was not mitzad oynus. It's a machlekes, but the maskana is that mitzad oynus is, is considered. She's allowed to table Friday night, or like we said before, the mitzad halacha. She's not able to table. Interestingly, you have a das toyre to the marsham where he points out that if the husband and wife were in a fight, and because of that she was not ready to go to mikveh on time, and they made peace, you're not interested in going to mikveh. And there's a Shaila and Allah about that. Shaila, whether you should be with your wife when you're in a fight with her. Mm-hmm. And uh, she pushed off her tefillah, and they made peace Friday morning. Then Friday night, she could go to mikveh. That is the first week. Not, it's not considered a shia. It's considered a, well, not a oinus, but it's definitely considered she was not able to tevil. She was not able to tevil before. If she was sick and she got better, on Friday, same thing. She could table Friday night. Can't live with Shisrod. The Gufi Alochas, which uh, from Vol Handler says, Fakat also. If he was sick, and that's why he wasn't able to be with her, and that's why she didn't go to Mikveh, and he got better Friday morning, she could, or Thursday night, she could go to Mikveh Friday night also. The Mari Asad points out that if you have a woman who runs a business, and in the winter, if she'll close the business early, the whole city is going to know that she's going to make it. Because otherwise, why is she closing her business early? She could push it off to Friday, to Friday night. Um, but if it's a pshia, which you're going to see soon, then she's not. If she was pshia by not by not going to make it on. Thir- uh? So I'm not telling you Pascal like him. I'm just pointing out that it exists. If if there is a, if she was a Peshea, we say we can't. We make a knas that she is not allowed to go to as a knas or whatever the reason we're going to, uh, later. Hopefully later see, she's not allowed to go to make for Friday nights if she was a Peshea. There is one exception when a woman was a Peshea and she still could go to make for Friday night if she was a Peshea Wednesday Thursday and she was didn't go to make for Friday night she could, is if her husband is going out of town, we say Shabbos, and he will leave right after Shabbos, and he's going to be gone for a while, then the Chamudei Daniel, which is born in the Pischa Tshuva, Al-Asad over here, points out to you that she is allowed to go to Mikvah Friday night. And he doesn't tell you the reason, but the, the logical reason behind it is you want to make a punishment on her for her being a Peshea is one thing. What's the punishment on him? He is leaving town. Also, why should you punish him for her Peshea? It is sometimes you should punish your husband for the wife's Peshea, but only if he is the cause of it, not if he is the one suffering from it. If the husband is not in town, the Ramah tells you she's not allowed to table Friday night. Which means, essentially, you need two conditions to be able to table Friday night. First of all, her husband has to be in town. Second of all, she wasn't able to table before. If you're missing one of these two things, that means if her husband was in town, but she was able to table before and she was a Peshaya, then she, then she cannot go to Mikvah Friday night. Ah, you're going to say Mitzvah, so you know. Oh, you know her Mitzvah. Fact is, she was a Peshaya. She doesn't care about Oino. Oh, if she cared about Aina, she would go to make for Thursday night when she was able to. Why did she not go to make for Thursday nights? If she cares about Aina, Aina is about her. Ah, uh, sure, she doesn't care about Aina. She doesn't care about Aina. She's not going to care Thursday night. She's not going to care Friday night either. Still not. If, if, if that is the only time she's going to come praying, she's going to come praying for 12 months, so I'm sure you'll be able to find that. 
If, and now, if the husband is not in town and she is able to go to mikveh, she also shouldn't go, also ask her on Friday night. What happens if she went and she did go to mikveh on Friday night, despite the fact that she's not allowed to? The Pischi Tshuva brings, essentially, in Shoigeg, if it was a Shoigeg, she's allowed to be with her husband. If she's amazed, she's not allowed to be with her husband that Friday night. She has to wait until after Shabbos, but Sha'ar Kreva Vahav is Mutters. Pischi brings that. Now, why is that? If you're Nidik and Masakan, you know from the Shabbos, sometimes the Knas is not until after Shabbos. If she was able to table before, technically able to table before, but for a side reason she did not go to mikveh. For example, she was sick, she just gave birth and she was weak. Her husband came Friday morning from out of town. That's when it goes into the minig. So it's totally, this is uh, almost totally minig. A place where there's no minig or that the minig is not known, then you don't have to be machmer. Now, what happens a week earlier than that? If she was able to do a hafsik tahara on Thursday night and she pushed off the hafsik tahara to Friday night, which she should not do. So, again, if it's bemazed, if it's bemazed that she pushed off the hafsik tahara, then uh, the Nodi Behuda says she should not go to make for the next Friday night. Even, even though that's that's even though that is her seventh day, Yemashri, but she was a Pshia by pushing off the Hafsik Tahara. The Dastre the Marasham and the Birchen Shtaif and 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 the, and the Mari Shtaif both say Yens and Shtaif say that she is allowed to go. Yeah, that is that is now what happens if um, yeah like we said she pushed off the Hafsik Tahara. So by us just. The, for us, the we passkin that have that have uh, fall goes from hafsik to hafsik tahara, you have a problem by bechlal pushing off hafsik tahara. It's a much bigger problem than just uh, than just uh, Friday nights. Bechlal pushing off hafsik tahara can create problems. Pushing off tevil is a different problem. So if again it all boils down, if it's a pshia, you have a shaila. Uh, if it's a pshia, she's also table Friday night. If it's not a pshia, then she is allowed to table Friday night. So if she pushed off the Hefzik Tahara, or like we just said before, it's about, oh, she pushed off, let's say she didn't push off the Hefzik Tahara. She pushed off the beginning of the Shiva Nakim, which we learned that, that the uh, Piskadina of the Semach Tzedek, the Talmud of the Semach Tzedek, he writes in Kuf Tzedek Vov, and we also mentioned Smash Magat from the Semach Tzedek himself in his Shuvas, that it's not really a problem if you do a Hefzik Tahara, and then two days later you start shivan Akim. However, if you're going to do a Havzik Tahara on a Wednesday night and then push off the beginning of shivan Akim to Friday night for no good reason, then again, going into the category that it might be considered a pshia. So the pshia could happen in three ways, according to different shittas. If you're going to go to Hachmer, Bemez the whole also. If she pushed off the Havzik Tahara, she pushed off the first day of shivan Akim, or she finished Shiva Nakim and she just didn't go to Mikveh that night. She pushed off, pushed off Mikveh night. All this is an introduction. What do, because well, this is all you could learn yourself from the books. I'll just give it to you as, a, as an introduction to what I'm going to talk about next. There is a halacha in Shulchan Aruch and Al Tereva in Hilchis Yom Kippur. Simon Tov Reish Yud Gimel, where the Alter Rebbe writes as follows: Asur leisha litbel beleil yom kippurim, afilu higia zman tefilasa beleil lozu. Now that we're going to make for yom kippur, even if zman tefil is that night, kevon she asur leshamish beleil lozu. Being that she's unable to be with her husband on yom kippur night, em betefilasa mitzvah klal. There's no mitzvah in her tefillah. I would write in your there simul kuf tzadikzayim, which we don't have. Why the tefillah bezmano lav mitzvah? Tefillah bezmano is not a mitzvah. Elo im kain bailo imo, unless her husband is with her. Um ishum bitul periviv, and because of peria periviv. So first point is is that tefillah bezmano is not a mitzvah, like we paskin, like the shochanor paskins, unless bailo beir. 
then it becomes a mitzvah. What mitzvah Meshur and Bittul Piri Vedivya? And therefore, on Yom Kippur, when she's not with her husband, she's not allowed to go to Mikveh. In Hilcha Shabbos, when it comes to the halachas and Simen, Shin Chavav, when it discusses the halachas of the Chitza on Shabbos, and so if Zayin, the Al-Tarebbe mentions that a person is allowed to go to Mikveh on Shabbos, Litahir Mitumasei. Even somebody who's Chayef Tevila Midaraisa, like a Nidah. Why? Because it doesn't look like a like a Mesaken. Rather, it looks like he just went to the water to cool down. But in our countries, Nagula, lesser to the Sisha B'Shabbos. The Minag is that the woman does not go to Mikvah and Shabbos. It's Asr. Unless, by Labaid. And she was unable to Taiva before Shabbos. Or her husband was not in town and he came on out of Shabbos. Why should I push up and I should lay Tavla Because there's no Pshia by her not going to Mikvah earlier. Avo, but if Kosha Haya Baila Ba'il Vaya Efshal Lit Bivalay Tavla, she was able to go to Mikveh and she decided she's not interested in going to Mikveh, then Aina Tevelas Bishabis. She's not allowed to Tavil on Friday night. So far this all fits with the Ramah. It's all clear, it's all good. Right? Sai Tafish and Gimel and Sai Shin Khavav. Aviation of Tamla Minak Sam will give a reason why you're not traveling on Friday night. She came when she inspired the Minak Shah Virchitz Bashabis. Because the Minak is not to go, not to wash yourself on Shabbos. So if then the Yiron no longer have the reason of that people are going to think that you went to Lahakar to to cool yourself down in the water, rather it's clear the only reason you went to the water is to be Nitur Mitumasai, therefore it looks like a Mesakin. Since the minig is so, the minig is, the minig became not to wash yourself on Shabbos, not to jump into cold water on Shabbos and cool yourself down. Bemela also became, Bemela, the only, if somebody goes to a mikveh on Shabbos, it's clearly only because he wants to be toyed me to Mosi, therefore it's near a So if there was a pshia, we don't, or if the husband is not in town, then she does not go to mikveh on Shabbos. However, if somebody goes to mikveh every Shabbos morning, it's not for lalis the time to Moses, it's the Tahara. It's clear that he's not going, he's not Mesakin, not, uh, not even Nirek Mesakin. Right? So far, it's all good, it fits in the Shulchan Aruch. Comes Hilchus Nida, the Al Terebe, and he throws you a bombshell. Somewhat. Simakuf Pevav in Hilchus Nida. There is a where the Kuf Pevav discusses. It discusses about the Bdikas of Koidem Vachre Tashmish, and it says a woman who does not have a a Vesas Kavua. She has to do a bdika before and after. A woman who has a vesicle does not have to do a bdika. Shesif Gimel, the Mechaber, writes that a woman who never sees earlier than 14 days after her tvila, during those 14 days, she's like a vesis kavua that she does not have to do any bdikas. And, and the, uh, the Al-Tarebbe right away points out over here, like he points out in other places, that if she does always see the author wants to bring his point across of verses of Flogger, how you calculate it, so it's mentioned a few places, one of the places where it's mentioned. al Rebbe says, but if she always sees on Yemi Dal the Tvila Asa, every time on the 14th day, after Tvila, regardless of when the gap between the periods, which means that there's always going to be a Vesit Lepochus Vlayoyser, and it becomes a Vesit Kavua. Why? Because the verse is a flogger, because we're mechashev from Seyfriye to Tchilasriye. So she's going to make at the end of uh, every time it's going to be 14 days. Exactly. From when she goes to Mikve. Till, till, uh, till the next Reiye. Uh, so it's going to be a full verse of flogger. Why? She can go to the oil and be able to do it. She can go to the oil and be able to do it. And probably... Why is that so? 
Lefi she also li shalamad bimei tum also being that it's also for a woman to be to, to remain tame. Afilu in bayla ba'ir even if her husband is not in town she's not allowed to stay in a tame status to the kaman simen kuf tzadik zayin if it's going to be explained in kuf tzadik zayin which we don't have in our terebe. Umin astam and probably maschelus li sper zayin nekim miat shipa sekas li she probably starts to count shipa nekim right when she doesn't have sek tahare. And she goes to make the then that night. Therefore, Bain should talk to Maschos and Nikim. Whether she's going to calculate from the beginning of Shiva Nikim, or she's going to calculate from the Tvila, or she's going to calculate from the Hefzik Tahare, it's all going to be the same exact Heshbon. Comes now, and we have a problem. Al Terebe says also the Isha. Lamoid betumasa afilu ein bala boir. Huh? We have a bigger. Before we get to the problem, Shabbos, let's get one step at a time. Yeah? Yes, you could read it that way. However, the Lubavu Chalebi read it differently. Sikha from the Kutasikhas, Vaischanan, Beis, Chelekyu, Dalid. The Rebbe discusses Chet Etzadas. And he mentions that through Chet Etzadas, as Yerdazu Amol Oilam, we all know that. This is Vashan and Beis, page 27, and bad got mixed into the, to the world. This is, this is all in, in, in your books. It's, it got rewritten in page 327, if you want to look at it. And they, they, that, that what I'm reading now from the Kutasichas. And the person has to push, it's the work of the person is to push away the bad. Well, that the Rebbe writes in the footnote, according to this, we could understand those who hold that Asu Le'ish Olamud Betumaso, this is a piece in Fehara 58, piece of Yeshla Hasbit, Tam HaDeyos, that the Dark Echuva brings, that Asu Le'ish Olamud Betumaso, Afilo Ein Ba'ilo Ba'ir. Even according to those who hold that Tvilo Bizman is not a mitzvah. Why? Because this this tvile is for clear, clearing yourself from this tumma and zuhama of etzadas. On that, the Rebbe right away on the words of Asalish and Meitumas, the Rebbe says as follows: says the Eishol Chanaroch. Now the Rebbe Shin Chavav quotes the Shulchan Aruch. Rei Shom Simen Tov Rei Shud Gimel. Well, I just quoted you also. But sorry, Chiyom b'Mashakos of Yerei Dei of Simen Kuf Pei Vav. That also the Shulchan Aruch made two more so. Then he says that I'll explain Simen Kuf for the example. Ulek Pirah Shon Tov. Could be that the Rebbe did explain it, but we don't have those Simen. Then he brings you from the Pesukah Din of the Tzema of the Tzema Chedek. That we mentioned that, that the woman is allowed to start counting Shiva and the key and push it off two, three days. Even the Chatchila, even though that causes the Tvila to be pushed off. It's all part of the Tzarechiyun. So it must, uh, he says that the Rebbe writes, must be that Tzemach Tzedek, or here some Piskadinim is talking about certain scenarios. It doesn't say what scenarios they are. Or that. Or that's talking, or that Tzemach Tzedek is only talking about how to calculate regarding calculating the Sfirah. It doesn't mess up the Sfirah, but it doesn't talk about Shabbos and Yom Tiv. Why? Because it doesn't make any differentiation between Bailo Be'ir and not Bailo Be'ir. Between Bailo Be'ir, Be'vada'i She'asur Le'achar HaTvila, for her husband's account, it's also for her to be Me'achar HaTvila, Kafrush Shulchan Aruch, right? That is the art of the Rebbe. The first half of the art of the Rebbe is interesting. The Rebbe puts makes a stira between Hilchus Shabbos, Hilchus Yom Kippur, and Hilchus Nida. Points out to you in Hilchus Nida, and Alter Rebbe says, also, the Isha, Lamed, made to Mosa, Filo, Eim, Bailo, Be'ir. But, if you look in Hilchus Shabbos, Hilchus Yom Kippur, if Eim, Bailo, Be'ir, she's not at a table. That is the Rebbe's question. That question generated that almost about half of Lubavitch's Rosh Hashivas were busy with this for about a few years. About two years later, well, first of all, you have the simple answer. Sometimes people think out of the box, come with a simple answer. The tshuva from Rav Mashash, that he says the words of Philo Ein Bailo Be'ir and Simu Kufa of the Al Tereb is a mistake in the printing. Shouldn't be the Bechlaw and Potter from the Shaila. He solves the problem very simply. But 
Um, other people don't go with that mahalach. It all started with a in Tav Shem Amid Vav in the artist in 770, uh, Rabbi Spalter, who was uh, now is in Maristown, then he was still in Kailo, comes up with an interesting idea that Tvilas Nida has two things to it based on the Sikha. Number one, it has that the woman removes the tumma of Eitzadas from herself. And number two, that it has a, uh, to make her toy for her husband. Happens to be that one tevila works for both. But it's two separate things. And therefore, if her husband is in town, it's a mitzvah for her to be to, she has a mitzvah to toivel. And if she was Pesheya, she can't toivel on Shabbos and he can't push, and he can't push off Shabbos. Right? Why? Because the head of the toivel on Shabbos is only mitzad, the periverivia. But and on, during weekdays, even if her husband is not in town, she should go to make for the metal from her tumor. And the male is no stir. Consumer Kufi Vav Altareb is talking about weekdays, also Lamed Yumei Tumor also. And also Shabbos Yom Kippur is talking about Shabbos Yom Kippur, which is not talking about the idea of Lamed Yumei Tumor also. That is his teretz. And that, about two weeks later, Pasha Spinchas, Rabbi Label Shapiro, was Shiv in Miami. Response says this teretz doesn't make any sense. Teretz makes no sense. Now, Terevedach writes that if she, the husband was out of town, came out of Shabbos, he writes, it's not considered a Pshia, that she didn't go to Mikvah up until then. According to your logic, that she has two things in every Tvila, she for sure the Pshia. She could have tabled three days ago, on a weekday, two days ago, whatever it was. She could have tabled Thursday night. So we tell him from Chetz Tadas. Why didn't she do it? She's a Pshia. If so, how does Al-Terebbe let you be tabled on, 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 on Friday night? That doesn't work. Second of all, when the al Rebbe writes in Kufi of Asur Lamud Betumasa, now by the way, the Lashon Asur Lamud Betumasa is Lashon of the Yerushalmi. It says Asur Lamud Betumasa, it's Mashmah, it's a complete Isser. How can you say this Isser is a complete Isser but only on weekdays? Not the whole, not every day. More so, the whole Yisoy is, 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 is backwards. You want to say which one is a mitzvah that should push off Shabbos and which one should not push off Shabbos. Tvila v'nide, just to be metayat to her husband. There is no chiyuv tvila on the woman for that. Sachakosh is a hechsher. It's a hechsher mitzvah. Prepares, prepares her to be with her husband. If you want to talk about an atzmi, it's a chiyuv on tvila. It's on when the woman is talmi from Tumas Sadas. So if so, and Bechlau, we say Tvila Bizmano is Lav Mitzvah. Right? So obviously, being with a husband, that's, that part of the Tvila is not a Mitzvah. You want to say, you want to make it in the Chiyuv, the Chiyuv only be Mitzvah Tumah Vayet Sadas. So for Rabbi Faket, that the Shabbos, only Mitzvah Vayet Sadas, she should be able to, 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 to push off. Even if her husband is not in town, she should be able to push off. So why she's not pushing it off on Shabbos? So therefore he says, no, that's not the answer. Rather, the answer is that we're going to have to say the al Rebbe Paschal like the Bach. That the Bach says, he explains according to Rabbi Nutam, that according to Rabbi Nutam, who says that Tvila is not a mitzvah, we have a problem from Yerushalmi, that Asur, Asur, Lamoid, that Asur, Lamoid, Metum Asur, she's not supposed to, this, this Lashon of Asur. So he says, why? He says, because even according to Rabbi Nutam, even if though it's not a mitzvah, she still should toivel. She still also going to be made to Masa. Why? Because the husband's going to make a calculation how many days of vessels there are. And he's going to come home, and he's going to think that she went to Mikvah, and she didn't go to Mikvah. So, so therefore, you still have the Isr, the Isr, the Isr, the Isr, and therefore, um, even you have the Isr, the Isr, the Isr, at the same time, you also have that that uh, on on uh, that the tefill is not a mitzvah, and that's how Rabbi Shapiro explains it. But the Alter Rebbe Luchayda holds that even though it's not a mitzvah, tefill is not a mitzvah. Still, you have an Isra, he might come, and therefore this that she did not toivel when her husband is in town is a complete pshia. She did not toivel when her husband is not in town is not such a pshia. Why? 
Because that, uh, when the husband is not in town, it's not considered a pshia. Why? Because if her husband is not in town, she definitely cannot tell you Friday night. Why? For a simple reason. If her husband is not in town and comes a thriller Friday night, the whole reason why, according to the Bach, why we have a problem with it, uh, we say it's not a problem, is because Shema Yehovah Baila, the Mechash of the Vestas. If your husband is going to show up on Friday night after a trip, you have a much bigger problem than Shema Yehovah of Vestas. So, he was definitely, if he was out of town before Shabbos, when Shabbos came in, and he's in town after Shabbos started, you have a bigger problem. And he says, how, and, and that's why when the Alter Rebbe writes in Kuf Pivov, he writes Minastam. He doesn't write for sure, always. Minastam, she went to Mikveh on time. But he says, this Teres is still not so good. Why? Because the, ultimately, the Rebbe asks the question from Kuf Pivov. But the way the Rebbe asks the question, it's mashma that the Rebbe makes it a clear that in Kuf Pivov it's clear that Aslam of Meitumosa applies every day on Shabbos, in town, out of town, makes no difference. It's an Indian in the woman. And it should be even Friday night. And therefore, we're still back to the question how to fit these two. Left in the question. Okay, so I have two Rosh Hashiva so far. Let's move to the third one. Chaf Menachem of Tav Shalom Edvav in the Kavit of 770 comes the Rosh of Ezra Shachat. He asks questions on both. Sai on Rabbi Shvalter and Sai Rabbi Shapiro. Rabbi Shapiro, he says, he says, first of all, you can't compare the Alter Rebbe to the Bach. You can't say the Alter Rebbe to the Bach. Simple reason. The Rebbe doesn't mention the Bach when you look in the Kutasichas. First point. And Bechlal, the Bach doesn't make any sense. Why? Because the Shulchan Aruch, if Rasa, if she for sure uh, saw Shasur the Baila, until she says Tavalti, so you can't have this Chashash that she saw, she started counting, she went to, she went to Mikveh, and she didn't go to Mikveh, and the husband's going to come. If he's coming and he knows that she was, uh, she she was she Rasa, he has to wait till she says Tavalti. So that doesn't work. And the lotion of the Yerushalmi that also Lamoid, it's in every scenario, not only in this far fetched scenario, the husband might come out of town, might come from out of town. And the lotion of the Bach is Mashma, that being that there is such a Chashash that he's going to come, so we made it into, into a general Takane of Asur Lamoid. So according to the Bach, seems like there is a chiyuv to the actual tvila. And therefore, she would be, she would be poisheya if her husband is not in town. Also, Lamed Bilei Tvila, she would be poisheya even if her husband is not in town, she didn't go to mikvah, she would still be poisheya because she violated this Asr Lamed, Asr Leish Lamed Bimei Tumaso, Lamed Bimei Tumaso. So therefore, the question comes up, if she comes on Friday, if she comes on Friday, how could, he, how could she be table Friday night? More so, he says, the whole idea that you can't table on Friday night, if she was able to table before, is not because of knas, like they want to explain, but rather because nirikim misakin. And the main thing is, if you look at Al Terebe, it's clear that if she did not do a pshia by not toiveling bismana, she is a lot of toivel on Shabbos, and that becomes her zman. We don't consider her a pshia, even though this isur lamoid exists. So obviously, the Al Terebe holds not like the Bach, but the isur lamoid in Hilcha Shabbos. He doesn't hold like that. So we're back to the question. And what Rabbi Shpalter claims that you have to be a chiluk between Shabbos and Yom Tev, it also doesn't make any sense. Why? Because when you look in the Alter Rebbe and see Mikuf Peivov, the Alter Rebbe continues, like I read to you, that whether she'll calculate from uh, from uh, beginning of this uh, beginning of the Shiva Nekim, she'll calculate from the Little Tvila, she'll calculate from the Hefzik Tahara, she'll end up in the same in the same in the same number. And if her husband is not in town and Little Tvila falls on Friday night. And she's going to push off the tvila, and she's not going to have the same cheshbon. The fact that Alter Rebbe says it's going to be the same cheshbon always means that the way the Alter Rebbe is reading it, this Osir Litboil, when it comes to Vesaflaga, 
he's reading it, that's something that it's, she's going to be toiling on the seventh day, Mitzah the Din of Isser, the Mitzah seventh, Mitzah the Isser of Lamed Beloit to Mosah, Whenever that's whenever that night is, even if Baila in even if it's Friday night. So we're still with the Stira. And that means whether well, it's Yemoy or Shabbos. It doesn't seem like there's any difference over there because if you say it only applies to Yemoy how could Al Tadeb write over there straight up that it's going to change, that the, the, the Haflogus are not going to, that the, it's always going to be an equal Haflogus from Lot Tvila? So therefore he says, no. Al Tadeb and Simon Kufpevov talks within the Gemara. But then you for sure could, then you were able to table Friday night, even when your husband's not in town. Even, and even if you say there's no mitzvah in Tvila Bismana. I, today, you have a minig not to table on Shabbos. You can't, that's not, uh, that's, uh, that's not a kasha, because Al Tadeh was talking about, in Kufi Vav, not talking about doing the Gemara, the way it was in the time of the Gemara. But the problem is that when the Rebbe asks this question, he says that an al that an, he says the question of that the Rebbe says that the Rebbe makes a stir from one to another. That in Yerid, the the Alter Rebbe writes also lamed below tefillah, even if by lay in a beir. And in Eira Chayim, it's mashma that the chiyuv of tefillah is only for husband is in town. So he says as I when the Rebbe writes sorry chiyuv mi Yerid deya. Not a question on the stele. The tzarechion is something else. Tzarechion does the Alter Rebbe hold in Yeridea. Tzarechion is on Yeridea, not from Yeridea. It's on Yeridea. On what the Alter Rebbe writes over there. That when the Alter Rebbe writes, does the Alter Rebbe paskin that me cut the dinner? There's a mitzvah to toivel bismana, but Pasha today you can't. There's no toivel bismana anyways because hefsek tahara is after five days. We anyways do have to start off after five days, which is not... Anyways, there's no zmana anymore. But zmana would mean, according to me, the Raise from bleeding till seven days later. You have Hefzik Tahara five days. The Chumras makes you slow. You never have zmana. But Be'etzim, the al would hold... Maybe the al holds it is a mitzvah. Or that the al holds that even today there's a mitzvah to be toivel, to toivel bismana. And then we're still stuck with the same stile that you have in one place, Asr Lamid. So we're still stuck, we're still left with the question. Right? Because if she if she did not toivel bismana, when her husband is not in town, because of he says we could say when she's not toiveling, when she's at when the husband's out of town, it's not because of um, another reason, because it's Khashash Sakana. We know there's a Khashash Sakana which we discussed before. Therefore, she is no longer a Peshas. The only reason she's, she's not Toivel is because of Chashash Sakana. Now she's not a Peshas. And this Sakana pushes away this Isser. And even if it's Sakana, even if we're going to say that this is not pushed, it does not push off the Isser, she still cannot be, she still could not be a, 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 a Peshas. Right? So therefore, why is it, if, she, if we say that she is, that this does not push off, and therefore, and she still does not remain a Peshas. So therefore, how do we separate the two? You're going to say that the Neir Chaim is talking about Lashitas according to the Minig, that we, that we push off because of Sakana, and in Yerideh is talking about Dina de Gemara. Okay, we could say that, but still remains in a, in a, without, a clear, without a clear answer. If you think it ended there, it didn't. Okay, so two years later, Rabbi Shpalsa responded in the, in the Artist of Maristel, Parallel to that, started a whole new track in this, in this discussion. Rabbi Winner was a Shiva of Venezuela, then sent a letter to Menashe, Rabbi Nashe Klein, uh, Baal Mishnah Alachis, um, asking him this question, saying that the Rebbe writes in the Kutasichas. And Menashe Klein wrote him back an answer, which is printed in Mishnah Alachis Chelek Tes, Simikov Peitas. And from there also made it into Yagul Taira. means Kavis Yagul Taira, from there. The first was printed there. And he did not see what was written in the KFC artist in 770. He only saw the Sikha and the question. And he answers, he starts like this. Maybe, I thought maybe the Alter Rebbe passed like the Bach. But it's clear that he doesn't. Why? Because the Alter Rebbe in Yilcha Shabbos doesn't pass like the Bach. You must say that Taras Ishele Bail includes two things. 
What two things does it include? One, that she cannot be Tame, and second, she become Tame to her husband. Right? I guess you guys recognize this idea from a different person. So mitzad, mitzad that she should not remain Tame. L'chayra, why is the L'chayra? The reason is because it, because Bizman is a mitzvah. But if it's mitzad her that she has to go to mikvah so she should be available for her husband has nothing to do with Tvila Bizmana. The Chiyu becomes mitzad Pirya. Verivia. Then he goes into an interesting Shiloh. When does this Chiyuv, that she should become Tar Labayla, start? Yeah, does it start on the day of Mikveh? That once she's ready to go to Mikveh, she can't, she can't remain without going to Mikveh? Or does it start from the moment she becomes Tommy that she has to work to make sure that she's Tar? When does the Chiyuv start? So he says, Nira Pasha, that it starts from when she becomes Tommy. Starts right away from when she becomes Tommy. And whether she is, whether her husband's in town, whether her husband's not in town, she has to do after Tahara and everything else. She has to do everything else. And that was Asura Lamoid. Asura Lamoid Bet Tumas as a general Chiyuv on the woman. So therefore. No stir. When the Alter Rebbe says Asur Lamed B'Tumos Afilu Ein Ba'ila Ba'ir, he's talking about the general idea that a woman is not supposed to be stuck in the category of Tumah. Rather, she's supposed to move along. So it starts at the first moment, and therefore it goes. Uh, it, it continues going weiter. So Asur Lamed B'Tumos is not a stir to not tabling on Friday night. So Lamed B'Tumos is a chiyuv on her from the day she went to make, from the day she became Tommy. So, she has to make sure she doesn't have sektahare, asurlamah betumasa. She has to make sure she doesn't have nekim, asurlamah betumasa. Ah, it comes the din of tevilas, when the time, when the, when the, when the time, so he, and that also fits with Alter Rebbe. I mean, Astam, usually she's going to do have sektahare bismana. Usually she's going to do shiva nekim right away. Usually she's going to make for that time. Usually you're going to have a flog, a, a, a standard flog. But there are times that things are going to get, as, as things are going to change. So therefore, it's not a it's not a stira. when it's talking about in Hilchas Shabbos and, and in Hilchas Yom Kippurim. Taket Tvilu Bizman is not a mitzvah, and Taket for the Peshas she does not go to mikvah Friday night, and if her husband is not in town, she does not go to mikvah Friday night. But it has nothing to do with Asura Lamed B'Tumaso. That's one. That's one thing, and that's something else. And it did not end there, but the shir ends here because it's already late. It continued. Continued. If you want to know. The last, uh, the last thing that I found on it was in Nun Bayes.